Westies make fantastic family pets. I've only ever had Westies. I've had uh, Westies when I've had little children and obviously growing up to um, larger children, teenage children, and they've been absolutely marvellous. The West Highland White Terrier, or Westie as they're often called, a small, cute, playful, nigh on inexhaustible. They are lively, feisty animals. They give huge amounts of love. They're very, very fun loving. Make great family pets or actually companions um, if you're in mature years. From a behaviour point of view, although it's cute, it may well like to chase and it may well like to dig. If you think you've got a chaser, then you need to get the training in early. If you've got a digger, then you need to think about providing it with an area in your garden that it can dig, otherwise it'll ruin the whole of the garden. Westies just need medium exercise. They'd be a good dog for somebody who doesn't want to go for miles and miles. They're good friends, good companions, and they can be loyal little dogs. Westies can have inherent problems with their skin and uh, with their ears and it's those skin problems that are obviously very uncomfortable for the animal and for the owner will cost an awful lot of money um, in vet bills. If overwalked, their growth plate on their back legs um, can be damaged which is why sometimes you'll see quite a few terriers kind of like hopping on three legs rather than walking on four. So it's about little and often but they are the sorts of dogs that do need to be stimulated. They are quite uh, feisty little animals and they can get into an awful lot of uh, trouble. Twenty-one, twenty-two years ago, I bought my first Westie. And um, whilst she was a very loving, very kind animal, um, what I didn't realise was that it was a farm-bred animal and that they'd just literally been bred for numbers and for money rather than for quality of animal and any hereditary problems didn't seem to be taken into consideration to eradicate that out. I would suggest to people who are buying a Westie to actually make sure who they're actually buying it from and it would always be best to have a look at both the mother and the father to ensure that the animal has been bred to breed standard. I don't think it would be uh, too much to actually ask the owners if they would mind actually um, getting a reference from the vet to confirm that you know there are no skin problems or problems with ears. West Highland White Terrier is a typical example of wiry coated breed. Top coat is really harsh with soft, dense undercoat. A harsh coat should be removed by hand stripping. Other option is clipping, but then the coat gets softer and woolier. It's not too high maintenance breed. It needs to be groomed by a professional groomer about four times a year. Westies in terms of grooming are pretty okay. You just have to really keep um, on top of it, ensuring that they are trimmed every six to eight weeks. Yes, the white dogs, yes, they will roll, yes, they will get filthy, and on those occasions, yes, they'll need a bath. Um, but that goes with the breed. You know, I can guarantee every time my animal's been to be trimmed, I can guarantee it'll want to go straight in the garden and it'll want to roll. That's just what they do.